A few nights sleep later, Guy drove to Rugby in Warwickshire to meet one of his all-time heroes. It's because of DFV, the most successful Formula One engine ever. You maybe don't get excited about engines the same way I do. Yeah, but it's an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing. 155 Grand Prix race wins. So from 68 to 82, in that 14 years, 12 of those championships were won by Cosworth drivers. Hey, that's impressive. The DFV engine which will power Guy's F1 car has undergone a complete restoration here at Judd Power. At one time, Judd supplied engines for half the Formula One grid, and it's a name every motorsport fan knows. We have no idea what Judd stands for. John Judd? Is that right? I met John Judd. What a nice bloke. Full name is John David Judd, and for my trouble, I own the business and control the engineering. Our business is design, build and manufacture of racing engines and also rebuilding a lot of heritage engines from previous Formula One eras. This is... Uh... John Judd introduced me to Dan. I didn't know he was called John Judd. I didn't know, I just thought, I wonder why the Judd must be something to do with John. Anyway, John Judd, yeah. Oh, great name. Yeah. Anyway, John introduced me to Dan. Dan Squire has worked for Judd for 15 years and his full-time job for five months has been restoring Guy's DFV engine. What a bloke, Dan is. Real meticulous, real nice lad. He didn't get sick of my questions. So they sleeves that the bucket's running there. And how do you adjust the valve clearance? Can you work in metric as well? Do you check stretch or just seat condition? Would this be a squish style combustion chamber then? It's quite a flat port though, isn't it? So what valve angle is that? You think that was all taken into account when this engine was designed then? Guy joined Dan to finish off his painstaking rebuild of the engine. Ready for testing. Do you want me to feel that? If it... Yeah. I could see your face thinking oh, no. that's a bit tight. No, it's, You're happy it's all right. I know the feeling. <laughs> I think that's not right. Yeah, that's it what it's is. all about, having that feel. So you got a bit of feel. Yeah. yeah, what do you think about the DFV? Probably one of the most iconic engines of all time. Is that right? Well, Fair statement, that. It is. But it is. It's a classic design that stood the test of time, and you, know, you can't speak too highly of it. In your day, you need to be top, and that's what it was. With the fuel lines connected, the five-month engine rebuild was finally finished. Great experience, an honour to work on the DFE. That's it. Ready for the dyno? Yeah. Go and right. see what she can do. Nowhere to hide on the dyno. Now, the team wanted to measure the engine's power output by revving it at increasing speeds on a dynamometer or dyno. It's nerve-wracking, much an engine dyno. The engine that took 1,000 hours to rebuild would now be pushed to its limit. It could all go horribly wrong. Dan knows exactly what he's doing, right? Putting his workmanship to test. If he's left anything slightly out of place, that thing would just kaboom itself. Dan couldn't bear to watch. Where is Dan? Dan had to walk away, he didn't want to hear it. You ready? Yeah, going to start to push the throttle forward yeah. and all the way in. Guy operated the dyno under the guidance of Ron Monteith. I was bloody nervous, man. It sounded like I was bloody... Oh. The team hoped to rev the engine past 9,000 RPM without it failing. If it could cope with the stress, then a power output of over 450 HP would be deemed a success. Yeah, I've got too much mechanical sympathy for engine dyno. That's ready now, will not it? It just sounded like it was trying to rip the thing out of the floor. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's making it bang. Murdering it. That's what we're doing on the dyno, we're trying to break it, we're trying to break what Dan's done. You know, to push it to the absolute limit just to make sure it's not going to break. Impressive. That's impressive. And that's what they did. Switch them both off and it will stop. Dan's done a good job. They made, made great power, made like 510 horsepower, which is bloody great. Yeah, 10,500 RPM. It's ready now to go in the FWR8 for me to give it a bit of a pasting. Yeah, nerve-wracking now. <laughs>